This lesson is super important. It's like a key to your success. Without goals, you're like a ship without a compass, just drifting. But with clear goals, you can steer your ship anywhere you want to go. I carry this special card with me, kind of like a magic wand. It's not a real wand though, just a reminder of my goals. When I wrote down what I wanted on this card, it's like I painted a picture in my head. And every time I touch that card in my pocket, it's like pressing a button that sends a message to my brain. Suddenly, that picture pops up in my mind, clear as day. Here's the cool part. When you're focused on your goals, you can't be thinking about anything negative. It's like your brain can only focus on one thing at a time, and it should be what you want to achieve. Now let's talk about how your mind and body work together. Your actions and results are like a window into your mind. If you want to know what someone's thinking, just watch what they do. It's like their actions speak louder than words. Your senses like sight, smell, taste, and touch are constantly feeding your brain information, and your brain is like a sponge, soaking it all up. But you have the power to control what you think about. You want to fill your mind with thoughts of what you want not what you don't want. Now let's dive a bit deeper. Your subconscious mind is like this supercomputer that's connected to everything in the universe. It's like you're on the same wavelength as everyone and everything else. So when you focus on your goals and really believe in them, it's like you're sending a message out to the universe. And the universe responds by sending back whatever you need to make your goals a reality. It's kind of like making a phone call even though you're miles apart, you're still connected. So when you're passionate about your goals and keep them in your heart, it's like you're changing the very fabric of reality. Your thoughts, feelings, and actions all start to align with your goals. And before you know it, you're living the life you've always dreamed of. All right, let's switch back to the slides for a moment. I've been doing this stuff for a long time, like 60 years long. It's not like I'm good at much else, but hey, I love what I do. Back in 1966, I had this awesome chat with Earl Nightingale. I'd been studying his stuff for ages and even had this great dream written on my special card. You know, the one that's like a treasure map to my goals. Earl wrote something about how this dream, invisible to most people, is what pushes humanity forward. That hit me hard. So there I was in his office, soaking up his wisdom. After about an hour, I couldn't help but ask him, what's the big secret? And you know what he said? There's no secret sauce. Just figure out what you want and go get it. Find what you love and stick with it. Simple, right? But here's the thing. Most people never even stop to think about what they really love doing. When Earl dropped that truth bomb on me, it was like a lightning bolt. Fast forward a bit, and I ended up working alongside Earl as Vice President of Sales. Man, those were some of the happiest times of my life. I've been at this gig for ages and I keep getting better because I've dedicated my life to what I love. Now let's talk about paradigms, those mental programs that basically run our lives on autopilot. Crazy, huh? But here's the thing. Success is mostly about your mindset not fancy strategies. I remember this brilliant lady in Germany dropping some wisdom on me. Success is 95% mindset, 5% strategy. Blew my mind. So forget about fancy plans. Focus on your mindset. Most people are just extras in their own movie, not even realizing they're the directors. You gotta take charge, decide what kind of life you want and cut out anything that doesn't fit that vision. It's all about your marvelous mind. We've got the mind and the body, two parts of the mind, to be exact, the conscious and the subconscious. Your senses like sight and smell are like antennas for your conscious mind. They pick up all sorts of stuff from the outside world, but unfortunately, most people focus too much on what's happening out there. Now your conscious mind is where your intellect hangs out. 
It's got these cool, higher faculties that set us apart from animals like imagination and reason. But here's the bummer. Most folks don't even know they have these powers, let alone how to use them. These faculties can actually change your way of thinking, like telling your old habits to hit the road and making new, better ones. And the vibes you put out into the world, your attitude, thoughts, and feelings, they all shape what comes back to you. So, when you think positive thoughts, you feel good, and your body follows suit, leading to positive results. It's like a chain reaction. Thoughts, feelings, actions, results. One, two, three. Now let's talk about wants, turning into desires. When you really want something, it becomes a burning desire, like a fire inside you just waiting to be unleashed. It's all about tapping into that hidden potential and letting it shine. Let's break this down in simple terms. Your actions speak louder than words, right? Well, if you want to really want something, you've got to picture it in your mind and get super pumped about it. It's like when you're a little kid and you're learning all sorts of stuff. You can totally get this. Trust me. Now check this out. Your heart. It's like the source of your deepest desires. It's where those big dreams come from. Think of it like your spiritual core, your inner spark. That's why all those wise folks say that anything's possible. Because deep down, you've got this perfect blueprint for greatness. So you get this want, this desire, bubbling up from your heart, right? And then you send it back into your heart, tapping into this cosmic intelligence. It's like this universal law. Energy always transforms into something. Whether it's clouds turning into rain, or leaves falling off trees and then growing back. Your desires are no different, they gotta manifest into reality. As you keep focusing on what you want, that desire grows stronger. And that energy, it fuels your actions, leading to changes in your life. It's not a game, it's your life we're talking about here. And most people, they're wandering around without a clue about what they really want. Real goals are about growth, you got to aim for stuff you've never done before, stuff that challenges you. So if you're stuck between what you know and what you think you can do, you're not getting anywhere. And trust me, people around you might not be cheering you on either. They might even secretly want you to fail. It's like a weird competition nobody wins. But here's the deal. There's a three-step process to turn your dreams into reality. First, you got to dream big. Like really imagine yourself having what you want. Then you switch gears to figuring out how to make it happen. That's the theory part. And finally, you put your plan into action. It's like going from daydreaming to making it happen for real. It's all about attitude. When you're super pumped about your goal, when you really feel it deep down, amazing things start to fall into place. And guess what? Your mind is like a superpower generator. Seriously, if you think about what your body can do, just imagine what your mind can achieve when you put it to work. Let's tune in to what's happening around you using your senses. Your mind is a powerhouse equipped with amazing tools like perception, willpower, reasoning, imagination, memory, and intuition. With these, you can tap into the endless flow of potential coming your way. Picture this. What kind of life do you want? Deep down, your heart is nudging you towards something you truly desire. Don't brush it off. Even if you're thinking, but how will I afford it? Remember, there are stories of people manifesting their dreams without a penny to their name. It's about making the decision first, then figuring out the rest. Your wants, they come from your soul, urging you to grow. And guess what? That growth is part of a bigger plan, a plan for greater good. So forget about your past limitations or lack of credentials. I mean, I barely had any education or business experience, but here I am. How? By visualizing what I wanted and holding on to that vision until it became a burning desire. 
That's the spark that ignites action. It's like giving birth to your ideas, nurturing them until they become reality. So ask yourself, what do you really want? You might surprise yourself with the answer. 